I'm here with the vet. I used to call him the kid. Can you believe this, man? Can you believe it? <laughs> yes, I can. <laughs> I'm here. You're here. Now, How you know, doing, Double-digit appearances, 13, all-star we played together in the 2000 Olympics. Know, it went right? by this quick. Tell me how you feeling. I'm feeling good, man. I'm happy to be here. Double digits. I can't even believe I've been in the All Star, All Star, uh, All Star game. Double digits. This is my 13th, I think. Um, like you said, man. I'm the vet now. It's kind of weird, but I'm accepting it. I'm good. So, so you're grouchy now? Grouchy. I ain't doing interviews. I didn't really <laughs> want to hold us. <laughs> No, I'm good, man. I'm, I'm embracing where I'm at in life, man. I'm having fun. Still competing at a high level, at least trying to and uh, enjoying it, man. You know, I had Rondo earlier. This is his first time. Are you giving him, you and Paul, giving him any rookie hazing as being a first-time All-Star? A little bit, a little bit. You know, I think the true hazing comes in, you know, when we got to practice and then when the game comes, you know, being the ball boy, you know, he got to go out first, pulling his pins and all that. You know, messing with him a little bit. But, you know, Rondo's, he's, he's calm and collect, man. He try to get under his skin a little bit. He's, he tries to be too chilled at times. But we got a couple of things we're going we're gonna to mess with him about. Now, Cowboy Stadium, close to 100,000 people. That's history. You're going to be a part of it. Yeah, I know, right? That's great. I'm glad to be a part of it. Um, I'm telling you, man, each, each all-star uh, event has its own event. And I feel like this is... People look at Dallas. They're going. On, the first thing they're going to look at is that it was at a hundred thousand, if not close to, and to be a part of that in history, and all the history that the NBA has, man, it says something, man. So I'm, I'm just happy to be here. You know, when you talk about stars, I've always been an admirer of yours because your approach to the game, not the way you play the game, which is unbelievable, but your approach before the game and the off season. Can you tell the fans about what you do approaching this game, the NBA game? <laughs> It's a psychotic approach. That's a very focused and uh, very uh, understanding um, approach. You know, Smitty, man, when I play, uh, I just don't believe that you jump on the court and you actually perform. I think that you have to put in time. You have to, you have to, you have to really put in the true time in, in trying to get your craft to be uh, up to par, above average, because you have young guys who are getting, who are younger, and you're not getting any younger. So um, each year I've always gave a two cents about my health. Always wanted to always come in, if not tip-top shape. I've always wanted to bring something new to the table. And those are the things in the formula in which I've followed since I've been in this league, and it's, and it's helped me tremendously. You know, you know, you talk about health. You know, my bad knees, I've had them since day <laughs> one. How is your knee doing? My leg, my leg is good, man. My, my thing is with my injuries, man, like everybody in the league, you know, you get one injury, and then you move on to the next, and before you know it, you got a couple of things going on with you. So I'm no different from anybody else in the league. Um, when I hit that floor, you already know it's tunnel vision and you're going. But uh, as far as just being banged up, I'm no different from anybody else in the league. But my, my health is above average, so I'm, I'm happy. Second half of the season for the Boston Celtics, what should we expect? We gotta be, we got to be a lot more consistent. we got to finish out games. we got to have better second halves. You know, our third quarters right now are, are killing us. And we got to get a better consistency about who we are. And uh, I feel like if we get back to that, Marquise is back with us now. We got, we feel like we're full, we're full throttle now. So our second half is going to be big for us. Huge, if not anything. Appreciate it. The vet. Sounds strange for me saying I know, that. Right? The vet. Coming from the vet. Ah. My man.